right, welcome to this workshop this month. It is all about knocking the addictions. So I'm so excited that you're here. Make sure that you have your handout ready. And I have put the link in the chat or it will be in the comments if you're watching the replay. So this will be really, really helpful as we go through this material. I want to make sure that you have that handout handy and that you are writing what you can do specifically to help you. So my name is Erlene Tilton and I've been in the health and wellness field for actually over 40 years. This is a love and passion of mine because I learned firsthand that nature has the tools to make us well and whole again. And I like to educate other people that nature does have the solutions for almost any circumstance that we encounter, and especially when it comes to addictions. So over 40 years ago, I was broken. I had many emotional and physical problems that I was experiencing, and I had several food addictions. But there were two huge challenges that I had to face and overcome as I was working with a nature path that was helping to walk me through the process. And might I say that miracles happened during this time, but it was a huge challenge for me. So the first challenge was lifestyle change. I know this is definitely a process and it can be difficult but you can do it. I did it. And it's all about adopting a different set of habits because we get in our ruts. We're humans of habit and getting out of this addictive process really requires some lifestyle changes. The second thing that I really had to overcome was the cost. And this was a hard thing. I had a young family, a husband that wasn't bringing home a whole lot of money with me as a stay-at-home mom. And it cost me quite a bit to really take my health and my life in my hands. And I like to bring out, it was about $250 to $300 a month, which sounds like a lot, but back in those days, my <laughs> It was way more than my house payment. So if you can stop and think about, you know, what your house payment is or what most people pay for a house payment, that was what I was investing in my health. And let me tell you, these were really hard things that I was faced with, but I really had to think about how important my health was, not only for today and for my children and for my family, but for the rest of my life. So you have to ask yourself the question, are you worth it as well? So here were four keys that helped to regenerate my gut. Now, I didn't realize it at the time, but these were what really created a gut health regeneration process for me. And uh, within five to six months, I was a completely different person done with the addictions, done with all the challenges that I was facing, and I had quite a few. So nourish with whole foods, cleanse with pure water, and not all these other drinks that are out there. And adding essential oils actually accelerates the process. Building with whole food supplements, enzymes, probiotics, and tools that will help to regenerate my gut, and then support you know, when we have addictions and we have other challenges that we're facing, sometimes it might be pains, uh, digestion disruptions, respiratory. There's all kinds of areas that we need extra support. And as I look to nature for each of these areas, that's when I got a complete transformation. And I've been able to help many, many people since. So... Let's start with seven different areas that can help us to overcome and to knock these addictions. Number one is to decide to address the root problem and determine to correct it. So 
many times we don't see what the root causes are and we're going to go through a lot of that. But we have to get to those roots and then be determined to correct it. Just kind of like a world-class athlete has to be very decisive on what they're going to do and they go- have to be determined to do it. You have to do that too. And in the process, you have to feel, listen, and ponder and pray and really come become more in tune with your body because your body speaks to you. And if you're in tune with your body, you'll understand that your body and your heart want you to be well. And so honor that and really work with your body's needs, not just your wants. Number two is identify your triggers and hone into the what and the when. So number one, are your triggers emotional comfort? Sometimes people come from home from work, they're alone. They don't have anything to do but sit down at the television and grab comfort foods. So sometimes that's a real uh, trigger when it comes to an addiction. It might just be a habit. I've worked with many people as a health coach that just have a hard time passing up a certain convenience store. It's just a habit. They, They are just used to that. And thirdly, it can be uncontrollable cravings, which are real. And again, we're going to address how we can get to that and manage these. So what you want to think, and hopefully you're writing some of this in on your worksheet, is what is your trigger? And when does this happen? I hope you write that down and write those in because This will help us get to the root and solve it. Number three is to create healthy swaps that will satisfy your cravings. So you have, again, in your worksheet, if you can write down your weaknesses on the left side of the page, we won't have time to do all of it now, but I hope you really come back to this because This is key. This is what got me through my challenges initially and still do today. We all need healthy swaps. When we have a trigger or we have a comfort food that we know that does not service us, what are we going to do instead? You've got to figure it out ahead of time. Again, as I coach people, I've, you know, come across some people and Granted, we all make mistakes. We all blunder at at times. But are you prepared to be successful? So as I said, as I coach clients, you know, I'll have one woman at one time says, well, I was out with my grandchildren and oh my gosh, we just didn't have anything to eat. So McDonald's was the only thing and I really blew it. And I'm going, do you not know how to carry things? I mean, Think about this before you leave your home. Make sure you have a healthy swap. This is super, super important and will be a real key to your success or failure. Number four is to follow a gut detox and renew plan. The common reason for most cravings is candida in your gut. And I like to share this phrase that I've said for many years and totally believe that what you crave is rotting in your gut. That is said very bluntly and it's very true. And until you remove it, that candida, whatever is rotting in your gut, you will continue to have those cravings and addictions. So for example, people have different things that they crave. Sometimes it's sugar. Sometimes it's greasy foods. Sometimes it's pasta. Sometimes it's soft drinks. It can be a number of different things. So whatever is really rotting in your gut, it's the chemicals, the additives, the sugars, the the high fatty foods, fried foods. We need to purge these things because if you do a really good gut detox, it can remove those unhealthy microbes 
the bacteria, the candida, then you want to replenish and supply your gut with prebiotics, probiotics, postbiotics, supply your gut with enzymes to help you digest and actually mend that gut lining and remove those um, microbes and bacteria as well. And then supply your gut with balanced whole food nutrition through supplementation. And most people don't do this correctly. Plus, eat a whole foods diet that includes the balance of proteins, fats, and vegetables. This is really, really key. So this is what a cleanse and renew outline looks like. On the left, you can see this is a 30-day program that when I work with my coaching clients, I do it for 90 days. We repeat it twice. Uh, 21 days, they say, is how we create a new habit, but it's 90 days when we actually change our lifestyle. And so staying on this for 90 days is super, super important. So at the top, you can see uh, our Lifelong Vitality Kit, which is whole food vitamins and minerals, your omegas and your antioxidants all together. Terrazyme to help digest your food, Zendrocon, which is a five organ detoxification system. GX is specifically for um, purging the candida. And you can see that you only take this 10 days of the month. It is super, super important for purging that candida. And then you have the PB Assist, which is your probiotic formula. And then, of course, we have the lemon in our water that can help to detox and cleanse all throughout your day. So lemon is powerful in pulling the petrochemicals from your cells. So eating a good, wholesome diet and pure water is also really, really important along the way so that your body can properly detox and renew. Number five is to accelerate the success with essential oils. Our best essential oil for curbing your cravings and knocking addictions is black pepper. It is phenomenal. And there's several ways that you can do this. In fact, I've had different people that have not only got off of a lot of different addictive drinks, but even definitely food addictions just with black pepper. So you can inhale it, diffuse it, two ways to use it aromatically. Internally, drop it under your tongue and in a veggie cap and take three or four drops at a time. You can apply it to your wrists and the back of your neck. It's, it's a wonderful oil to help you be able to dispel those cravings and knock any addiction. So we also have our MetaPower blend, which is a blend of lemon, grapefruit, ginger, peppermint, and cinnamon. This is specific to curbing your cravings, flushing, detox, increasing digestion, and weight loss. And guess what? People that want to lose weight are usually dealing with addictions. So we want to be able to knock those addictions, and this is what will help. And again, adding it to water, drops under the tongue. You can uh, even apply the MetaPower topically on your adipose. After you get out of the shower is a really good time because your pores are open and it can really help to flush. Diffuse it as well, but also there's a whole MetaPower system. There's the beadlet, soft gel, and the gum that you can take in addition to that. And then there's Advantage, which is the collagen, the Assist, which is all about carb curbing, and then the recharge, which is the electrolytes. It's a, an excellent system, which will, again, what we're trying to do is reset your gut. And when we reset your gut, this helps you be able to knock those cravings and addictions. Number six is to trade those trigger times for focus on health improvement. So I have found that anytime you're dealing with an addiction, again, that's why you go back to that chart when we talked about what and when, what is it that 
that you have that addiction to and when are those times? Because if you can, instead of coming home from work and getting, you know, getting those comfort foods in front of the television, if you can turn that into reading time or studying time or watching articles on YouTube that are all health related, that can really support healthy eating instead and I do have my YouTube channel just in case you want some ideas because this will really, really help you. So trade those trigger times for focusing on health improvement. Then share and teach what you learn. People ask me all the time, Erlene, how were you able to switch and stay true to your the diet for all these 40 years? And I said, the thing that I did more than anything is I kept learning and then I started teaching. You know, once you start teaching and sharing, it becomes ingrained in you and you want to live up to what you teach, don't you? Right. So it's super, super important to learn it and then teach it. Then get out in nature, be intentional, be proactive, be an example, go for walks, just trade those trigger times to being out in nature and exercising, becoming healthier instead. Number seven is work with a health coach to help you stay on track. This is huge. It was huge for me. I worked with my nature path for months, several months to help keep me on track. I could have never, ever done it on my own. Why? Most of us don't succeed on our own. Because it's an unfamiliar path, we don't have a complete plan, we don't have the support or solutions when problems arise, and we're stepping out into the unknown, and it's not comfortable. Today, we have health coaches, we have finance coaches, fitness coaches, uh, all kinds of coaches that help people stay on track, and the statistics are there. If you have a coach that you're working with, you're almost 90% more likely to succeed. Very few people are able to do it on their own. So the plan that worked for me will work for you. Why? Because it's all about gut reset. And once you reset your gut, you will be able to knock your addictions and cravings much more easily. So the process is simple and every step is important. Decide to address the root cause and determine to correct it. Identify your triggers. Again, I really encourage you to write these down in your worksheet. Really identify these and then find the what and the when. Create healthy swaps. So, so, so important. This is going to make or break you because these healthy swaps are so important to help you be able to turn this around. Follow the gut detox and renew plan. Again, it's all about resetting your gut. And if you do this gut detox and renew in the way it is set up, you will see amazing benefits. Accelerate your success with essential oils. Essential oils accelerate all your natural bodily processes. So if it's weight loss, if it's digestion, if it's detox, whatever it is, the essential oils help to accelerate the process. And this is why they can be so powerful. Trade in those trigger times for the focus on health improvement and then work with a health coach to help you stay on track. So to get results like me, there's two challenges to overcome. At first is the lifestyle change. It is a process. And I won't say that it's easy, but it is very, very possible, especially as you follow these seven steps. And number two is the cost. You've got to invest in your health and be willing to do that at least for 90 days, if not four to six months uh, for full regeneration. And most of us, we really want to see the results, right? We just have to stick with it. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen even in a month. We have to stick with it and be willing to make that lifestyle change and, and be able to invest in ourselves. 
So step one is to make that decision and be all in for 90 days and understand that healthy is my lifestyle. Just be willing to do it. Studies show that people who make the change for 90 days are able to make it a permanent lifestyle change. And to me, that's really, really important. Step two is assess the cost of your addictions. Now, I think that this is really, really important because I was working as a health coach with a young father in his mid thirties, he was trying to get off his blood pressure medications. He didn't like it. And so when we got to, you know, assessing what it's going to take for him to get through this, it was around $300 and he completely freaked out, but I went over his wellness assessment and I said, you know what, you're not drinking a whole lot of water. And he says, yeah, I drink mostly sodas. And I said, how much do you spend on sodas a day? Actually, he was spending between $10 and $15 a day on sodas. Times 30, he was really spending between $300 and $450 every month. Wow. You know, you could trade that addiction into, you know, recovery. I've worked with families that kind of feel the same thing. They eat out a lot. They don't realize how many costs until we sit down and kind of look at where the figures are, where the numbers are. If you feel like this is a challenge for you, you need to add up those addiction costs and trade them in for your recovery costs because most of the time you're even going to save money. And I've seen that so much with the people that I work with. So be intentional about this. It's really, really important. I have a what's up with your gut quiz that's online. And it's a very, very important step of the process. You can take actually a screenshot of this if you'd like to take that quiz. But here we find the root causes, the triggers, and we create a plan with your goals in mind. Super, super important. And then uh, step four is to really choose to go on the 90-day gut detox and renew plan. Get the items that you need because this is the game changer. You got to reset your gut and this is how you can do it simply. So if you are willing to do this, I have three incredible bonuses for you just for deciding to knock an addiction. Number one, I'm giving you my free ebook. This is a meal idea plan for the gut microbiome diet. Now, most people want to make changes, but they don't know where to go to find the healthy foods. So I've done all the work for you. This is an incredible guide for helping you know what you can eat and what's good for your gut and what will be satisfying and yummy and replace some of those other foods that you're trying to give up. Number two is if you fully commit to the 90 day program, you also receive a bottle of black pepper essential oil. Like I said, this is super, super important because it's really effective in helping you uh, knock addictions. And then number three, best bonus of all is that I offer you free coaching for the three month program, which is a huge value to you. And all three of these are free just for getting started now. And so take that online quiz, which is followed by calendaring a call. And then we get together and we go over this and are able to work through a plan that works for you. I'm willing to give my time if you're willing to give it your best shot and really are determined to be successful. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope some of the things that I have shared have been helpful and they can help you knock some of the addictions that you have, or you can help others to be able to do the same. Please leave your questions and your comments and also give me a like if this has been helpful. And I hope to be able to help you in some small way soon.